Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my golf app. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about dynamic loft in this swing. This gentleman looks like he's trying to present a lot of dynamic loft. The ball seems to pop up in the air quite high. Let's talk a little bit about how to maybe control the dynamic loft on your shots to get the better trajectories, help you get better distance, and certainly some control of some of the curvature. When you start playing with a loft, it can affect the face to path relationships as well for people as they come in to hit the ball. Let's help him out. Right guys, interesting swing, not a bad backswing, pretty neat. Downswing looks fine, it looks a little bit like you're moving left, but it looks a lot like you're hitting with a lot of loft. So it looks very much like you want to hit the ball very much this way. So keeping the loft really on that club. You don't want to take any loft off as you hit the ball and move the club forwards. It looks like the face might want to stay open to its path, which is adding loft on this loft. It looks like a lofty club, can't tell on the back swing it doesn't, then it impact, it looks really lofted. Um, and you're also hitting in a strange place. I can't tell if you're hitting to that green in front of you or over it or, because it just looks like a wedge almost. But let's pretend it's a medium iron and he does it, even if it is a wedge with his medium iron as well. So we see loft swinging long way left, keeping loft on. I would like to see you try and hit some shots where you feel like the loft actually is coming off. I want you to feel like you're taking the loft off. So a good way to do this, and I do this with golfers a lot in lessons, just to see what kind of skills you have of controlling and understanding your impact position. I want you to feel like you're hitting a punch shot. So punch shot is a low flighted shot kind of into the wind. And the way people normally do that is they would put the ball back in their stance. It's not the back in the stance that's keeping the shot lower. It's the fact that the handle then has a tendency to be more forward of the head. They don't want the face to point to the right. So they then turn it around the axis of the shaft and we've lost all that loft. And then they whack the ball often more down because the handle's so far forward and off it shoots low. So the ball position encourages these factors. Now for you, I want you to try and hit a punch shot, but I want you to do it from your normal ball position. So I want you to set up as you're hitting a normal shot, but I want you to try and feel that you're delivering with the handle forwards, weight forwards. Try not to hit to the right, so feel like the club is turned around the axis of the shaft a bit more into delivery. So you're delivering with the handle forwards and the club turning back, the pointing somewhere near target, somewhere in relationship to your straightish path. It'll certainly be straighter if you swing this way. So look, if I hit one, middle of my stance, but I'm going to keep it low. So I presented less loft and that ball was shot off there really low. Loads of divot as I hit down a little bit more from weight shifts and handle leans, those kind of things. I can hit a ball from in front of my left foot. So this ball's off my left foot. So this should go really high, but as long as I deliver less loft, Ball's gone a little left because the ball's so far forward, but that's still gone relatively low because I was able to lean and present my hands forwards and control the face around the path. This is a great drill for golfers who tend to hit the ball a bit high with their irons, lose a bit of distance, those kind of things. Getting them to understand how to present the handle in relationship to the head and how if it's back it can point the face left and forward it points the face right so then you need a little bit of spin around the axis of the shaft maybe in setup, maybe in grip, maybe in dynamic movements. Just playing with those feelings helps them control their irons considerably more. So the goal is normal setup, but lower that launch window. Feel like you're hitting the ball low. Feel if you can hit some ball simply by presenting less off, trying everything to push handles forward, weight forward, those kind of things. You'll find your strikes will be completely opposite to what you do when you're just swinging naturally. Then you can play with those feelings to try and get around the course. And often when I do this with people, if you have people who present too much loft, telling them to feel like they're hitting a punch shot, often when we measure them, gets them to present about the right amount of loft. It's not until kind of a week or two weeks later that they come back and they are starting to drill them a bit low. They come back and say, look, they're starting to go a bit low now. That we work on just calming down how low they feel they're hitting it. So for some people, it's about showing them what the issue is and then telling them to stop doing it. They don't need loads of positions and ideas. It's simply just more cases. Just try and hit handle forwards and the club turn around a bit. Just do it. And often they can. I think this guy, he will have good success with this because he looks like he's got coordination. Middle of your stance, punch feelings. Deliver the handle forwards. If you lose the ball off to the right, don't forget by pushing the handle forwards, the club face naturally points to the right. So you can have to turn that about the shaft. You can do that by flattening your wrist. You could do that by changing your grip slightly at the start. Just play with the feeling of less 
a lower launch and I think it'll transform the way you strike your eyes and hopefully get rid of you trying to really promote lots of loft and almost look like you're kind of scooping it up in the air. Hope that helps. Thanks for sending the swing. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.